And we're on the gun. In this heat, in the first position, we'll have Chicago Latin School. In the second position, it's Rochford Christian. Number three is Topless. In the fourth position, it's Rutgers. In the fifth, it's Central. Shelbyville is in the sixth position. Pleasant Plains, seven. Decatur St. Teresa, eight. Delville Alcock. Jeff is in nine, West Montana, and St. Joe Harden, 11th place. Right now, it's the Latin School, with B of R, is leading the pack around the scoreboard, and up to four. And their number one runner And about 113, a little bit off pace from the first heat. So we still have the Latin School first. And I believe T Town, although, yeah, that, that's T Town second, and Clifton Central third. And then we have the number two school, Rockford, Rockford Christian, led by Mackenzie Park. As the field tightens up in the first four down the back straight. And we still have the last score. Hang on to the lead. That's the number three team. We still have to top us. And then the number seven team. Let's is go, third place. And that's Pleasant Plains. And as they come around and into the first exchange, we still have Chicago go, Latin to come on, Julian! That's Chicago come Latin. Come on! And Pleasant Plains. Come on, Julian! You got it! Pleasant Plains as they head into that first exchange. And it will be Pleasant Plains first to the exchange. Number two for is uh, Bernadette Perno, the name we've become familiar with over the years. And now that looks like T-Town into the lead, and led by uh, Caitlin Sch Schumacher for the wooden shoes of Tetopolis. Okay, so it's Tetopolis, it's Pleasant Plains, it's Chicago Latin, back here in fourth place is our number 14, and that's Orion. And for Orion, number two runner is Brooks Norberg. And on, Riley. lead pack is still bunched together with T-Town at the front. And then we have the number three team, Tetopolis. And then we have the Latin School. Position. And the number 14, Ryan in fourth, and 343, as they head around the south turn, we have the Latin School back in the lead, and Pleasant Plains second, T-Town now is faded to third, and now here comes Rockford Christian, down Come the back, on, Ryan, making a bid for the lead, for Rockford Christian, we have Gracie Plessler, and she's in the lead. She's on the number seven team in the lead, Pleasant Plains, with Bernadette Turneau. And Turneau is turning on the afterburners. As she heads around that scoreboard at 430, and opening yeah, up a Riley! nice lead over the number two team. which is the Latin School, and they're ranked first in this heat. The Latin School. Let's go, Riley! Come on, Riley! And in the next stage, they come. Come on, Riley! Come on, Riley! Come on, Riley! 
And in the Lamb School, the Pleasant Plains, Richard Bruno <laughs> is running for Pleasant Plains. And in the Latin School, the number two runner is Claire Hardeman. So we have quite a gap now between one and two, and then two and three. And Rockford Christian is in third. And that, that's Kelly Giardina for Rockford Christian. Down the back straight, trying to move up in position is Totopolis and their number three runner is Rebecca Hading and then behind them we have the five and the four team which is Clifton Central and Orion And in the battle for third place, we have Rockford yeah. Christian uh, and T-Town, that's correct, Rockford Christian, number three runner, is Kelly Giardina, T-Town, their number three runner, but the lead is quite lengthy now. Between Turno and Hardeman, Turno of Pleasant Plains, and then Hardeman of the Latin School. Although now the number three team, Totopolis, is beginning to make a bid for second and closing the gap as they head around the scoreboard. Turno still with the lead, Latin School second, T Town third. Back into this race, number one runner, or number three runner, is Ashlyn Lammert, and into the exchange, and we still have Pleasant Plains, and Caroline Giacchino, we'll hear more about her later on today, but that's Giacchino of Pleasant Plains, the Latin School, it's so dark, I don't know who's who. And then Rockford Christian for the Latin School. That's McKenna Fellows on the anchor. All right. And for Rockford Christian, our number four runner, our anchor is Renate Toldo. And that rounds out a five. We have Morgan Meddy running the anchor for T-Town. And the field is now being lapped as our leader, Giacchino, a pleasant play. Come on, Anna! For the bell. Come on, Hannah, you gotta go, Hannah! Come on, Hannah! Let's go, Hannah! Let's go, Hannah! And then if here comes one, the one in the third place. on the leaders. We still have Giacchino at Pleasant Plains. And here comes Matty now. Plains will take the number one spot in this heat. And now into second place. Get her, the Hannah. Latin Let's go, Hannah. Come on, Anna, get her. And Morgan Let's Meddy, go, Hannah. Totopolis. Meddy trying to 
pick up that go. second place. Yeah. Come, on, go. Like Come on, Anna, go! It's a top of the screen. The field's been left, Woo! so some of these aren't in the places here. So I'm just waiting for Pleasant Plains, 956.95 on the win.